Hello, my name is Dr. Wendy Burton and I thank you for taking the time to watch this short video prior to your first AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine. The first thing we want you to know is that you must be clinically well before you receive this vaccine. If you are sick and have a fever above 38.5 degrees, it is best that we rebook your appointment for a time when you are well. It should also be at least seven days since you've had any other vaccine. And if you've had a live vaccine, such as the chickenpox or shingles vaccine, it is best to wait at least 14 days before receiving your AstraZeneca vaccine. Side effects after this first dose are common and about 55% of people will experience something. That does mean that 45% of people have no side effects after this vaccine. The big four that most people experience are headaches, muscle aches and pains, tiredness, and a sore arm. So very common side effects that we might see after any vaccine. Importantly, please be aware that one in four people experience chills, one in five joint aches and pains, and one in six experienced a fever. One in six also felt unwell enough that they took or would have taken a day off work, study, or their regular duties. So please do keep that in mind and make allowances. You may wish to use some paracetamol Panadol or ibuprofen, Nurofen, to manage the side effects of this vaccine. The side effects typically come on within a few hours and may last for up to a few days. The very important side effect that we want you to be most aware of is of course the rare blood clotting issue. And this has created quite a lot of noise and fear. The incidence is related to age and there is no known correlation with more common blood clotting events such as deep venous thrombosis, pulmonary emboli, and those who have low platelet counts or factor V laden deficiency and the such are safe to receive this vaccine. The incidence of blood clots varies by age with about 2.6 cases per 100,000 in those under the age of 60 and 1.7 per 100,000 in those over the age of 60. Should you develop onset of a persistent significant headache, blurred vision, slurred speech, muscle weakness, or severe tummy pain or calf pain and swelling, typically coming on after four days and up to 42 days following the vaccine, please do let us know promptly. There are tests that can be taken and treatment that is available. The low incidence of blood clotting following the AstraZeneca vaccine compares with everyday things we often do without thinking. So for a four hour flight or beyond, so Brisbane to Perth, for example, there will be 16 people per 100,000 who will experience a blood clot. And for women who take the third generation contraceptive pills, the numbers are 30 per 100,000. The majority of those who have experienced blood clots have been successfully treated with immunoglobulin. Those whose platelet count drops significantly may experience different side effects, such as easy bruising, bleeding, or a funny looking rash, a purpley black rash that doesn't fade when you press on it. Please bring this to our attention should you experience any of these symptoms. It is recommended that your second dose of AstraZeneca vaccine is administered 12 weeks following the first. However, in the event of a significant local outbreak, that may be shortened to six to eight weeks after this first dose. Please ensure that you have your appointment booked before you leave today or follow your clinic's instructions for how best to do this. Please be aware that while you will receive some protection from COVID-19 following this first vaccine, to ensure full protection or the best we can give, you do require that second dose. It is entirely likely that we will all require booster doses to account for variants and also for a decrease in immunity with time. It is my expectation that if this is not required by the end of 2021, it will be necessary in early to mid 2022. So thank you for being part of the solution. We look forward to seeing you again for your second vaccine. Thank you.